What's up guys, Sal here. So Huawei is taking some drastic measures to counteract the damage done by the US government. The US blocked Huawei from using American technology and the biggest blow to them was the loss of the Android operating system and the Play Store. Also recently, Facebook came out and said that they won't pre-install their apps on Huawei phones which also includes Instagram, WhatsApp and Messenger which is a big deal because Google and Facebook currently account for a huge amount of people's time spent on their devices. Now, Huawei understands this and they are promising to offer refunds to their consumers if popular apps from Google and Facebook stops working on their phones. The offer is a clear response to a softening sales market and an attempt to shore up consumer confidence. Currently, this is only available for Philippines, but I'm positive there will be replicas of this initiatives in other markets around the world too. I think this is the right step and Huawei should expand this to the rest of the world as well, as this will surely help them to keep the consumers from abandoning the brand while they are sorting this out with the US government. While Huawei's future with Android is uncertain, they have promised that the company will continue to provide security patches and Android updates to its devices. So that means most of the popular Huawei devices will get the next big Android update, the Android Q. Huawei released an official statement where they are saying their popular devices like the P30 series and Mate 20 series will get the Android Q. In fact, they have listed 17 devices that will get the next big Android update and here's the list. Honor 20 and 20 Pro aren't mentioned in this list but sources are telling that they will get the updates too. Some of you might be wondering, how is this even possible when the US ban is still intact? Well, Huawei got a temporary reprieve until August 21st, which seems to have given Huawei and Google time to work on the Android Q update for the company's most important devices. While Huawei's future with Android is still uncertain, the short-term situation is looking far more positive for existing Huawei users with regards to the software updates. Huawei's founder said in an interview that the company will see a loss of $30 billion over the next two years because of the US ban. Not only that, he's expecting a steep drop in sales up to 60%. Huawei held on to its number two spot for global smartphone sales in the first quarter of 2019, but now it looks like they won't be able to hold on to that position for any longer. Huawei's founder said, and I quote, we didn't expect that US would attack us with such determination and on such a large scale. But he's positive that the company will see a new life in 2021. Wabi is working on a new operating system which could be named Oak OS, but without the support of Google and Play Store, it would be too hard for them to make it a success. If they want to have a new life, then either sort this thing out with the United States or make Android apps compatible with their new Oak OS. Other ways will surely not work. Anyway, do consider subscribing for daily tech videos like this. And as always, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out.